Hey YouTubers, it's EMDSD14R again with another review video. Uh, today I'm doing a review video on my Athen Ready to Roll Sue Line SD40-2 number 757. Uh, let's get started. Uh, just like my previous video that I did on my Maersk Sealand SD40-2, uh, this one will give you some insight as to the details um, on the locomotive and the many different uh, features that it has. It has a prototypically correct plow that matches the prototype pictures. The red outlines on the plow all match. It's actually the exact plow that's on the real 757. It has the coupler levers here. It's got painted and detailed MU cables and your air hose. I installed a Katie Longshank coupler on this end and a, a medium shank coupler on this end. And uh, the reason I put the long shank on the other end was because the regular coupler, even though it looked prototypically correct, it would prevent other locomotives and engines from coupling to it. So if you have problems with that, um, just put a long shank coupler on the front of the unit and that should remedy the problem. The locomotive also features finely crafted details, metal uh, grab irons, the horns are metal, you have your rotary beacon, uh, your firecracker antenna, the number boards are legible, and the good thing about the 757 is just like the prototype, this is the uh, all weather purpose window right here and let me just take this off the track for a second as you can see the uh, conductor side of the cab doesn't feature that um, at all um, but the windows on the side do open as you can see there and this is just like the real uh, 757 uh, Sioux line engine so the details are prototypically correct um, the, uh, as again uh, as I mentioned in the, the other review video the problem Atherin has been having is they're using these very cheap plastic railings and sometimes they're not glued. Now when I bought this engine they were not glued in properly anyway but over time they've actually just started just leaning towards the front here and that's been a little bit of a problem. The back is the same way. See they're actually supposed to sit vertically um, like that but they're not so yeah that's a problem but I'll just change them to uh, metal railings anyway uh, let's go to the rear of the unit just like on the front you have your uncoupler lever bar right here you have your MU hoses and your air hoses or your air hose right here you have uh, metal grab irons on the rear of the unit and just like the number boards on the front, they're le le uh, legible, or you can read them. Uh, the Sioux, the paint, the paint job on the Sioux line engine is very crisp. It's bright. It's it matches the exact uh, picture, the prototype picture. The lettering is all correct. The striping on the rear and the striping on the front is also correct. Um, this particular unit doesn't have dynamic brakes, just like the prototype. Um, it also features see-through uh, fans. Now the, the thing is uh, it comes with a parts bag just like the Maersk unit in the background and you have the option of adding the winterized hatch. Now there was a time in the um, when this unit was in service that it was painted Sioux red but it didn't feature the winterized hatch and early on there was pictures I've seen that it didn't feature a winterized hatch at all when it was painted in Sioux red and white but I decided to go with the more recent uh, pictures I've seen of this unit where it does feature a winterized hatch and uh, you do have to apply it yourself you have to drill out the holes to mount it um, it's just a plastic uh, winterized hatch with a wire screen and the good thing about it is you don't have to remove the fan underneath um, if you can actually see I've actually retained the original fan uh, underneath the winterized hatch and actually because of that you're actually able to see a lot of depth um, in that particular region it's a very detailed area um, 
very very nice uh, I don't believe the yeah the exhaust stack is also see-through the side grills the side grills here and the radiator grills here they're painted in a like of uh, like a like semi black in a way um, not really not really grimy black but it's like a very very light black kind of like a grayish color to simulate the like weathering or, or and, and so forth another feature is the model features the prototypically correct uh, fuel tank this is just what this is just like the uh, real Sioux 757 the fuel tank is actually this short uh, the trucks feature finely crafted details let me turn the model around and show you it also features a speed recorder there's your bell and a whole bunch of other little details um, that you can add there's the details behind the conductor side of the cab there's your brake lever it's actually different it's not a brake wheel like on the MERSC unit that I showed in the previous video but it's a very detailed very detailed locomotive and it's extremely heavy it also features a slug weight in the back here and that weight can be removed and you can put a large oval speaker back here so that the sound projects up so this is DCC sound uh, DCC ready um, easy to convert to DCC and sound she also features a very smooth running characteristic very smooth running characteristics and she features grain wheat bulbs They will be changed to LEDs. Let's wait for it to come around again. Very, very quiet engine. It's a great puller, and it also features exceptional slow speed operations. And just like uh, the Atherin Genesis line, I would say the details in the RTR line are comparable to the Atherin Genesis line. Um, the wire screen fans and the uh, metal grab irons really, really enhance the, the models in the Atherin RTR line. And the prototype details are exceptional. And I highly recommend that if you see this engine, um, to get it because it'll be a great addition to your collection. So you guys be cool and I'll see you later. Bye everyone.